how has um, the support that you've received from Lazarex made a difference and how did it make a dis- difference in your decision to participate in the well, trial? Of course, of course it make a, a huge uh, a difference because I live, uh, well, we live uh, in a small town uh, far north from uh, UCSF. Yeah, we're about a four hour drive. Yes. Wow. So okay. without that ability to have that assistance. It will be really, really And we really had to be down there weekly um, yeah. for part of this. We just don't feel we could have afforded to do that. Yeah, even up, just in gas, it was a lot of gas uh, uh, to go back and forth. And there was hotel stays. Yes, and it's things. just uh, yeah. uh, the it was, tolls and the parking. and Oh, um, absolutely, yes. Yes, yes, it, yes. It all adds up, especially when yeah, you have to do it. Really it really does, it, especially when he's not working anyway because mm-hmm. of, you know, what he's going through. Yes, and right now we look back and all this, it's two years on... I think it was impossible for me to do it without uh, this help. We felt that if he hadn't had that choice, that could have made a big decision. Well, that could have been a pivotal point also on being able, okay, if he's not seeking that treatment, excuse us. um, If he's not seeking that treatment, then would he still be as healthy as he is today? Because by just by financial choices like that and not having that assistance, we probably would have had to decline, be up here, just getting another round of chemo, and slowly his health is deteriorating. How would you say that the support that Lazar that you've gotten from Lazarex has um, provided has made for your clinical trial experience? Of course, it makes a, a lot of difference because it gave you a little bit of peace of mind, you know, and be concentrated uh, only on your on your health and put you in hands of a doctors and, and don't have to worry about somebody if I have to stay overnight or because some sometimes they require to do uh, a blood transfusion because mm-hmm. my uh, red cells get a little low. So they suggest to get transfusion. So they recommend to stay overnight. So uh, if I don't have that kind of help or that support behind me, it will be definitely uh, uh, different decisions that I could take. Yeah, he would keep trying to drive back and forth instead of, you know, just being able to get some rest that was needed. And again, that's affecting his health is just get some rest. Absolutely. Yeah. And what advice would you give to someone who's considering participating in a clinical trial? Well, I, I guess they, they, I suggest to try it, you know, it is a good thing. We have felt so supported yeah. by being in the, the clinical trial versus he had already gone through treatment up here for about a year prior to getting, actually a little over a year, to getting it accepted and getting involved in this. And the difference between just the support and what was available to us is night and day. Well, that's kind of all the questions I had. Is there anything that you can think of that you would like to add to the interview? I don't know about you, but I, I deal with most of the paperwork part of it. So yeah. I, every time I've reached out to anyone at the Lazarek group, they have been so kind. And I mean, I'm always surprised because I'm not that person. I call up and they know who I am, you know, and I... Yep. I I, I'm taken aback a little bit because at work, I, matter of fact, I'm a little ashamed of myself when I hear this group know who we are yet. I don't, I'm sorry. What was your name? You know, I'm so, and it's impressive. It, they really make us, they're a very kind professional, but like, feel like you're part of their family. Yeah, so you are part of our family. By and that, that's touching. And we, are, we are really, really thankful. Thankful that you do that we have your support and like I said before it was uh, it was great to just have a peace of mind.